Today, I received a box in the mail. Who has the box? It says JHS. Lizard Queen Octave Petal. Oh, sweet. It comes with like an old time receipt. Nice. Lizard Queen Instructions, a petal that requires instructions. Congratulations, you have just purchased the finest fuzz distortion device developed to date for the electric guitar player. I'm a guitar player. The Lizard Queen will give you violin-like sustained sound to raspy, biting, octave tinge tones made famous by such players as Josh Scott and Daniel Danger. Operation. I think I'll skip that part, I can figure that one out. The Lizard Queen was originally designed in secret as a loving tribute to the historic sound and design of the iconic electroharmonics effects of the 1970s to 80s by Josh Scott of JHS Pedals, alongside artist and electroharmonics archivist Daniel Danger in the spring of 2021. One of the initial six screen printed big box builds was presented to Mike Matthews the following year to coincide with the JHS show episode making a vintage electroharmonics pedal. The reaction and demand from the pedal community was incredible and could not be ignored. Thus, a partnership between electroharmonics and JHS pedals was formed to bring the Lizard Queen Octave Fuzz out from the shadows and into the sun. Electroharmonics has produced the Lizard Queen Nano, an affordable and pedal board friendly compact version. And JHS pedals has produced the limited edition big box version, handmade, assembled in the style of the classic mid 70s electro harmonics release. And that's what I have. And this is uh, some kind of an old flyer. Electro harmonics, new for 1975 winter NAM. Wow, only $39.99 for a pedal back then. $29.99, $79.99. That must have been a good one. That was a lot back then. Ooh. Hello, welcome to 1975. The transistors are funky, the screen print ink is toxic, and there's cigarette smoke in the break room. This pedal is a NOD, whatever that means, to how things used to be. Warts and all. You may see minor blemishes on the skinny silver case and or hand printed silk screen also. Just like a vintage electroharmonics, you may also notice very slight sonic differences between these units due to the vintage inspired circuit and parts tolerance of the ERA appropriate parts. Ooh, nice. Thing's huge, man. Wow. There's a fingerprint on here. That's a a vintage fingerprint. <laughs> For warranty support, visit jhspedals.com. Which way do I oh? Okay, so this was 883, the 883rd one. I wonder what the switch does. Sweet. I can't wait to try it. Thanks, guys. Oh. No rubber feet. Oh, man. Ooh, the napkin so it doesn't get scratched up. Oh. Uh-oh. There's no power? I forgot about that. I guess there's a battery in there. Cool. Oh, this is my uh, first time. Before I must get tuned, because that would be horrible to play for the first time without it being tuned. Oh, I didn't know.
can plug this in on. I wish I had a drummer to play with, but I don't, so I'll just do a quick demo of it. <laughs> play with drums yeah thanks guys from JHS you guys are awesome can't wait for your next pedal by the way if anyone wants to check out my pedals go to my YouTube channel and uh, I just made this new one it sounds pretty cool uh, let's see what else here uh, I do these like uh, wood box ones uh, they're pretty cool the cedar actually makes it sound significantly better you'd be surprised really I thought this would pair great with a new pedal I just made. Uh, I have this one right now for a customer, and I haven't given it to him yet. Yeah. This is a Lizard Queen. Here's my octave. 